I am Ravi Handa. Welcome to this session on cyclicity of remainders. By cyclicity of remainders, I mean that when you divide a number like a to the power n by d, your remainder will always be between 0 and d minus 1. Not only that, it will be cyclical in nature with the cyclicity less than d. What I am trying to say is that for example, 4 to the power 1 when divided by 9 leaves a remainder of 4. 4 square, which is 16, when divided by 9, leaves a remainder of 7. 4 cube, which is 64, when divided by 9, leaves a remainder of 1, because 63, as you know, is divisible. So, 4 to the power 4, 256, when divided by 9, leaves a remainder of 4. As you can see, this 4 is repeating here. The next one will again be 7. The one after that will be 1. What I am trying to say is, 4 to the power n when divided by 9 will leave me remainders of 4, 7, 1. Again 4, again 7, again 1. Again 4, again 7, again 1. What I am trying to say is, let's say if I have 4 to the power of uh, say 12 divided by 9. All I need to do is, I need to check where does 12 fall in this list. Say for example, 4 to the power 1 is 4, square 9, cube 1 to the power 4 will give me a remainder of 4. 4 to the power 5 will give me a remainder of 7. 4 to the power 6 will give me a remainder of 1. 4 to the power 7 will give me a remainder of 4. 4 to the power 8 will give me a remainder of 7. 4 to the power 9 will give me a remainder of 1. 4 to the power 8. 4 to the power 10 will give me a remainder of 4. 4 to the power 11 will give me 7. 4 to the power 12 will again give me 1 and so on and so forth. So for small values, I can just check where do they come in this list of 471, 471, 471. But what do I do if I get something as 4 to the power of 143? Well, I can continue this list till 143, but that would be really difficult. I do know the fact that 4 to the power n when divided by 9 has a cyclicity of 3. So all that we need to do is to express 4 to the power 143 as 4 to the power of 3k plus something. Why? Because when it is 3k plus 1, as was the case with 1, 4, 7, 10, remainder will be 4. I need to express it as, if it is, if it comes out as 4 to the power of 3k plus 2, then the remainder will be 7, as was the case in 4 to the power 2, 4 square, 4 to the power 5, 4 to the power of 8, 4 to the power of 11 and so on. 4 to the power of 3k will leave a remainder of 1. That is 4 cube, 4 to the power 6, 4 to the power 9, 4 to the power 12 and so on. Once I know that 143 is 3k plus 2, well how did I get that? 1 plus 4 plus 3 is 8. 8 when divided by 3 gives me a remainder of 2. So 143 can be written as 4 to the power of 3k plus 2. So the remainder of 4 to the power of 143 by 9, which is effectively 4 to the power of 3k plus 2 by 9, I can see from the list will be 7. Just in case you want to verify it, we have Wolfram Alpha. We can go to Wolfram Alpha, do 4 to the power of 143 mod 9, and we'll be able to see that the result is indeed 7. So what we have got here by the cyclicity funda, that is 7, is actually a correct answer. There is actually one more thing that I like to discuss about cyclicity, which is that if it's a small cycle, it is okay. In case of a big cycle, you should always multiply the remainder and then try and calculate. What I'm trying to say is for four square, it was 16 and I got seven. For four cube, instead of calculating four cube and 64, I should just do seven into four, 28 will give me a remainder of one when divided by nine. 4 to the power 4 is 256. Very difficult calculation. Instead of that, I should just do 1 into 4. Again, I'll get a remainder of 4. Let us take one more example to illustrate this idea. Remainder of 2 to the power 1 by 11 is 2. 2 square, as I know, is 4. 2 cube is 8. And let's see what happens after that. 2 to the power 4, I know, is 16, which gives me a remainder of 5. 2 to the power 5, well, I know it is 32 and then I can calculate the remainder. But instead of that, I should do previous remainder 
into 2, which is 5 into 2 or 10. 2 to the power 6 is 10 into 2, which is 20, which gives me a remainder of 9. You could have calculated it by the traditional idea, but I hope you realize that this is faster. 2 to the power 7, instead of forget that, forget what power of 2 is, just see the previous remainder and keep all multiplying. 9 into 2 is 18, gives me a remainder of 7. Then 7 into 2, which is 14, gives me a remainder of 3. Then I have 3 into 2, which is equal to 6. And then I have 6 into 2, which is equal to 12, which is equal to 1. Once I get a 1, I know that my cycle is complete and that it will repeat itself. And hence I have 1 into 2, which is equal to 2. As you can see here, the cycle is repeating. So 2 to the power n, when divided by 11, has a cyclicity of 10. The key point is that the cyclicities are not fixed. They depend upon both the things, as in here, a to the power n by d. They will depend both on a and d. Powers of 4, when divided by 9, had a cyclicity of 3. As you can see here, 4, 7, 1, 4, 7, 1. Powers of 2, when divided by 11, have a cyclicity of 10, as you can see here. The cycle will be 2, 4, 8, 5, 10, 9, 7, 3, 6, 1. Let us look at a slightly more complicated example of this entire idea, which is 32 to the power of 32 to the power of 32. When divided by 7, what will be the remainder? Well, first of all, I need to reduce this to something that I can understand a little better. 32 by 7 gives me a remainder of 4. So I can write this as 4 to the power of 32 to the power of 32. And that is being divided by 7. And now I'll try and solve this. Why? I, first of all, I wrote 32 as 28 plus 4. And hence, I reduced it to 4 to the power of 32 to the power of 32. Now, I don't know how to solve this question. So what I will do is, I will try and find the cyclicity of 4 to the power n when divided by 7. Let's see what I get. 4 to the power 1 when divided by 7 gives me 4 to the power 1 when divided by 7 will give me a remainder of 4 itself. Remainder of 4 square which is 16 by 7 that gives me a remainder of 2. Remainder of 4 cube when divided by 7, that is either I can do it by 4 cube 64 by 7 or just 2 into 4, which is 8 by 7, gives me a remainder of 1. So now I know that 4 to the power n when divided by 7 for remainders, the cyclicity in this case is 3. That is, it repeats in the cycle of 4 to 1, 4 to 1, 4 to 1, and so on and so forth. So, my question essentially, which here was 4 to the power of 32 to the power of 32, has reduced. And it has just reduced to, if I can figure out that it is 4 to the power of 3k plus what, my question will be a lot simpler. Why? Because if it is 4 to the power of uh, 3k plus 1, my answer will be 4. If it is 4 to the power of 3k plus 2, my answer will be 2. And if it is 4 to the power of 3k, my answer will be 1. So let's see what it is. Let me just correct it. Let me write it as remainder and remove this part. Okay. So now I need to figure out that 4 to the power 32 to the power 32 is 4 to the power of 3k plus what? For that, I need to have one more step in my calculations, which is I need to express 32 to the power of 32 as 3k plus something. Now, for that, I need to find out the remainder of 32 to the power of 32 when it is divided by 3. Why? Because that is essentially what I am trying to do here. If I get this as 32 to the power of 32, 
uh, if I divide by 3, whatever is the remainder, that is the value of x. This is not very difficult to find out, 32 to the power of 32. 32 when divided by 3 gives me a remainder of plus 2 or I can write it as minus 1. So this becomes minus 1 to the power of 32, which is effectively 1. So now my question, which here was uh, reduced to 4 to the power of 3k plus x by 7, has now effectively become 4 to the power of 3k plus 1 by 7. And I do know for a fact that 4 to the power of 3k plus 1 will give me a remainder of 4. So the answer that I was looking for in this question is nothing else but 4. Let's see if we can verify this from Wolfram Alpha. So I need to calculate 32 to the power of 32 to the power of 32 mod 7 because we are dividing by 7. Let's see what the answer comes out as. It has indeed come out as 4 and that is what we had found out by the cyclicity of remainders. I like to wrap up this session here once again. The two key ideas were that when you are dividing a number, it, let's say a to the power n by d, it will have a cyclicity. It depends on the values of a and d. 4 powers of 4 when divided by 9 had a cyclicity of 3. The cycle was 4, 7, 1, 4, 7, 1 and so on. Powers of 2 when divided by 11 had a cyclicity of 10. The numbers were 2, 4, 8, 5, 10, 9, 7, 3, 6 and 1. And the last one, powers of 4 when divided by 7 had a cyclicity of 3, the numbers being 4 to 1. Solving this question, we did 32 to the power of 32 to the power of 32. We reduced it to 4 to the power of 3k plus 1 which indeed gives me a remainder of 4. Thank you.